good day everyone welcome to studio 39 design studio this is richmond speaking your resident architect in this video i'm going to be expanding on my previous video about um, windows and door schedules i'm going to link it in the description and uh, you can go to the cards right now top right hand corner to see the previous video so that you can see exactly what i was doing so uh i'm working on a project but i, I just want to reference a, a project that i just finished working on uh we're doing uh council submissions for this one right now uh it's already prepared up the client has signed off the plans and everything like that it's a small project um yeah so basically just going to the plan you see that uh, we've done everything uh, that uh, was needed to be done for this project so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and explain to you exactly what I'm trying to do with this uh, window and door show that I'm trying to work on because on the on the previous video that I made uh, I set the, the the windows and doors to all have unique uh, element IDs and this guy that was sent me a message and asking me to do um, a video indicating how do you sort of like uh, do similar type of windows or doors uh, and have them have uh, sim uh, the same ID and uh, how then you can quantify them into one element so let's go on to the sheets you see that on, on this project I've already worked worked on the roof and uh, foundation layout I've also done some details uh, I've also prepared you know your council submission plans so what I want to zoom in I want what I want to explain to what this guy is trying to say is that uh, as you can see here we have window 3 4 and 5 no not 3 4 and 5 4 5 and 6 they are the same window they have the same height same width same everything it's just that they might not have the same zone name which is what might uh sort of like separate them and they don't have the same unique id so that's why quantities are one 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 what you can do you can set up these two windows to have the same unique id and then you can just say and then uh, they'll be quantified into sort of like one column and have three quantities instead of like having one two three columns so basically that's what i'm trying to explain with this coming video so, and all these doors are pretty much the same these are hollow core doors uh, for this house what might differ or, or change here is the orientation uh, left the right uh, left uh, left right and the left so that's more unique to to doors so what I want us to do is I'm going to go to a project which I'm currently working on. Uh, this is a project in Utrecht, uh, Newcastle, South Africa. Uh, the client is asking for some flats, something uh, low cost because uh, he has uh, a, a, a tight budget to work on this. So um, I just designed this for him. So uh, what, right now what I'm going to do is what I've already done basically, uh, as you can see, let's just concentrate on the windows on this one uh, more specifically you can see what we have is that we have element ID which is necessary the width and height of uh, sizes or uh, on windows we don't have orientation obviously uh, but uh, what comes after that is the seal height and the head height and then what also we would have is zone name but if you want to sort of like quantify a uh, sort of like group windows uh, to a same unique ID, we, we would we are not going to put the zone name that will take us out of the scope for what I'm trying to explain right now. Uh, quantities also you you need that obviously. Uh, elevation you would need that type and uh, uh, use status. So I've already created. Let's just go to the window schedule. I've already created a window schedule. So I'm gonna freeze the schedule header so that you can see what I have. I have element ID window and height size cell height uh, head height quantities uh view from um side so i'm just gonna go ahead and just say elevation 
just to keep things simple and then type um, you will either be have your aluminium windows or have your steel frame windows or timber frame windows blah 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 so what I have here is I have this opening so I just want to remove this I've already uh, preset the criteria for this so I'm just gonna go ahead and say um, let's say element um, I want this to have an element the type I, I okay uh, the criteria for this Okay, let me just uh, go back just a bit. Um, position or category and uh, position. So ID and category position. So I've already set the position. So I set the window opening. So it's just the punch out uh, to ex to interior, and then the under windows are set them to. Uh, exterior so I think that will remove that from this uh, window schedule it's, that's exactly what happens so now you I have all these unique IDs which Archicad gives me uh, I'm trying to remove exactly that so I'm gonna go to the floor plan uh, on the ground floor to actually work on this uh, we already have our schedule so right now I'm trying to group everything together so what I'm gonna do uh, just to simplify this uh, we're gonna go to documents and then we're going to list extras and then we're going to element id manager uh, so usually i would use unique id for each element but for this one i'm going to set a uh, set same uh, id by criteria i've already uh, indicated i want this criteria so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on windows and uh, select all windows, go to document uh, and then go to list extras, element ID manager and then do the same thing all over again um, and then just change IDs and then it's just giving me one too. So let's just see how this is going to pan out. So basically on this floor we have uh, one, two. Three, four. It shouldn't be like this. This should be a different element ID. So I'm gonna try it again. So let's just go back. Uh, so something went wrong right there. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna go and do the same thing again. So what I'm also going to do is head height, cell height, and also um, width. So I'm going to add width and I'm going to also add a height uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this window down here and that window are sharing the same cell height and also the same head height. So now I need to identify that I want the width, uh, the width also to create. So now I'm going to go ahead and just say change IDs. So uh, it should give me about, uh, it's giving me five types of windows. So I'm just going to say, okay, I'm not really going to worry about it too much at this point. Ah, so now I see what's happened, the mistake that's happening here. I'm on the wrong floor. I thought I was on the right floor. I'm going to go down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, do it, do it again. Now I have uh, these uh, two windows, these four windows, one, two, three, four, sharing the same ID, and then one, two, sharing the same ID, and then also one, two, sharing the same ID, and this is duplicated across the project on the ground floor. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the first floor. Uh, I know I have three types of windows over there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on window tool, select all the windows. Knowing that I have these two openings here, I'm going to switch. I'm going, I'm going to deselect them or unselect them, however you want to, uh, however you want to look at it. And then I'm going to go to documents, uh, list extras, uh, element ID manager, and then uh, we're going to say, every. Obviously, the criteria remain the same. I'm going to go to ID because we ended at three types of windows. So I'm, I want to start off at number four on the first floor and then I'm gonna say change uh, IDs so it's going it's giving me four types of windows and then, and then I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say okay and then that's what I get uh, obviously these two are the same they, those two are the same uh, these are different to those so and then uh, these two are also the same different from any other and then it's duplicated across the project because this is a module this is a module this is a module this is a module and that is a module uh, so I also want to just go ahead and flip this to the outside so press P to flip that and then when I go to our window schedule this is what happens now I have I have quantities of 24 uh, window number one window number two quantities of 10 uh, window number three quantities of 10 and then uh, uh, window number four quantities of nine quantities of 10 for window number five number six or quantities of 10 number seven uh, quantities of 10 also and then I'm just gonna leave it at that uh, obviously later on I'll just go ahead and identify the type I'm gonna identify the finish and the the type which is just gonna be probably like gray dove um uh, aluminium frame window uh so that's basically what i'm going to do up next so while i have this here I'm just gonna control s go to our worksheet and then i'm just going to go ahead and grab this so I just realized I don't have it here, so I'm just going to not create a folder, create a shortcut. And the shortcut is going to be schedules. So the schedules, I'm just going to clone this. No specific scale or anything like that. And then under elements, I have my window schedules. I'm going to draw, drag and drop it here. And it's coming out nicely, so uh, I like that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this, unfreeze the schedule header, and then I'm gonna go and say uh, in all caps window schedule just looks better. And there you go. Also, gonna just delete that. I'm gonna type in the rest of the information later on. Go back to the worksheet. And that's our uh, window schedule it looks a bit awkward right now I don't know let me just check I think what's the problem here is the scale so it's the same one to one I want the scale to be one to 100 uh, everything else I'm fine with I'm not going to worry so this should update on its own and voila that's what you get so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the window schedule right here and then I'm going to start working on the door schedule. Obviously, I'm just going to time lapse this for you guys uh, so that I don't bore you with all the nitty gritties. And that's what you get so yeah the only thing that I might add here is uh, floor level so um, I'm gonna add a, a custom uh, text so I'm gonna say add that and then I'm gonna say okay and uh, this one is going to say floor level floor level so what I'm going to do on these ones I'm just gonna say this is probably on the ground floor not probably actually they are on the ground floor and then the rest after that are on the second floor or not second floor but first floor so that's what I'll probably do later on and then I'll identify this is a a, a solid timber door and then the frame is a, a timber door. Probably gonna say this is a finished uh, timber frame. And then this one is probably a steel frame. Not probably, but I know so. 
and then uh, I'm just gonna say bold and align left uh, same thing with the window schedule I'm going to identify which floor they are on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a custom text and I say okay same do the same thing here and then just say floor level so obviously this will be ground floor and then I think we started at number four on the next floor which would be the first floor and then I'm going to do the same thing right here go window settings no we're working on doors right now what I want to do is I'm going to make this uh, 1 to 1 to 100 and just say OK. And there you go. Those are the doors and window schedules. I hope this uh, video was helpful for you guys. Um, just let me know what you think about it so like comment and subscribe uh, to this channel because i'll be doing videos like this every week i know i haven't been posting a lot of videos lately it's because i got a, a lot of work to do on the background uh, but uh, rest assured that uh, moving forward i'm going to be once again posting every week uh, with that said love you guys god bless you and goodbye I'm sorry, I'm sorry.